Hey guys, this is Claire from ClairePills.com and in this video I'm going to show you very quickly, because it is really that simple, how to create a lookalike audience and then how to add it to your targeting for your ads. So here I am inside the Power Editor because if you know anything about me, you know that I'm a huge Power Editor fan. And in order to create your audience, you're going to go over to Manage Ads and click on audiences and then from there you'll go to create audience and the rest is the same I am going to show you how to get here from the ads manager because sometimes you know going into the power editor can be an extra chore when you're already here in the accounts manager so let me just choose my account here I am this might be where you are every time you come to facebook.com slash ad slash manage in your own account. So you're going to come over here to audiences on the left hand sidebar and then you're going to see any of the audiences that you've already created. If you haven't created any yet, that's perfectly fine. You're going to start right now. So in order to create a lookalike audience, first you need to start with a custom audience. So here I am, I click on create audience, that nice green button on the right, and go to custom audience. Now in this case, I'm just going to upload a list of my subscribers because I wanna create a lookalike audience of the people who have already opted in and are hanging out on my list. So I'm gonna click data file custom audience. I'm going to give it a name I skip the description because well that's just how I roll and I click data type emails always choose file I think I name this I select the list that I exported from MailChimp and I click create audience. Now Facebook is going to pull all of the emails that were on that list and it's going to create a custom audience. That means it's going to find everyone who signed up to that list with their email that also has the same email with their Facebook account. So that can take a little while. Uh, depends. Sometimes it goes very quickly. Other times uh, especially depending on the number of names in your list, it can take a long time. So I just refreshed the page and my list is already up. It's found 300 people out of that, something like 700 or what, I'm not sure. So yeah, that's going to happen with your custom audiences. Sometimes, a lot of the times, people sign up for Facebook with a different email that they sign up for your list from. That's life and you know, there's not much you can do about it. So now that my custom audience is all created, I'm going to go into create audience again, and this time I'm going to click lookalike audience. When it asks you the source, that means which custom audience that you already set up are you going to include here? So I click on this and it brings in all of my custom audiences, but I'm just going to start typing my list October 2014. Now I have to choose a country. You can only choose one country per list. If you want to make separate lists for uh, maybe a lookalike audience in Canada or the UK or wherever, you can do that, but you must make separate lists. So I always leave this little dot here right next to similarity because I'm more interested in people who are similar to my subscribers versus reaching more people. More is not always better. Let's remember that. And then I hit create audience. So now you can see right at the top, this is lookalike US, my list October 2014. And this is going to get uh, this number will be filled in once Facebook finishes calling that list. All right, so I'm finally back. Now that Facebook has finished creating my lookalike audience, which you can see is now over 2 million people. So in order to use this lookalike audience, I'm going to need to go into the power editor. So I come over here. And like 
any time that I create something outside of the Power Editor that has to do with ads, I need to download to the Power Editor to bring all of that data in. So I want to find the ads that I'm going to use this lookalike audience in. So I'm going to come over here to Campaigns, make sure this one is selected, and then go to Ads, which only shows me the ads then that are in that campaign. I'm going to add this to New. So here I'm looking at the creative. Now I'm going to come over to audience and here at the very top of the audience tab, you're going to see custom audiences. Now, if I click here and start typing lookalike, it's going to show me all the lookalike audiences that I've already created. I'm going to select the one I just created. And I'm also going to exclude the custom audience that I created because I don't want to target any of the people that are on my list. So now, of course, the United States is the only location that I can target with this because my custom audience is, my lookalike audience is just people in the United States. So even if I chose other countries, they wouldn't be targeted because this is sort of the, the baseline, those 2 million people, and then any other data that I put on top of it, any other filters are going to be applied to this list. So I've got the rest of my, my targeting the same as I had before, and I'm down to 44,000 people, which is a good number. So that is how you add a lookalike audience to your targeting. You upload changes, and then that ad is gonna be sent to be approved once again. That's it. If you have any questions, please head over to the blog post. I've linked that right below this video if you're watching in YouTube and get in on the comments so that you can get your questions answered and make the absolute most of your Facebook ad budget. Cool. I'll see you over at clairepels.com.